Hey everyone, welcome back. And today I wanted to introduce the very first episode of Drawing with Dave. Uh, this is going to be a weekly segment where we just spend 30, 40 minutes uh, sketching, maybe doing like a quick little painting. And it's a way for me to just kind of hang out with you guys on YouTube. I spend a lot of time on Twitch interacting with viewers while we paint. And I felt like there's some type of, a little bit of separation on YouTube where I post something up and there's less kind of discussion going on. So I'm hoping to change that with this new video series that should be coming out uh, about once a week. So we'll spend like 30, 40 minutes on a painting, maybe a doodle, maybe some type of uh, some type of quick sketch, and then I can go over the previous week's comments, we can just talk. I'm just gonna kind of talk about whatever I'm thinking about for the week, what are my plans this month, or planning to do art-wise going forward. So it's just a good time for you to hang out. I'm not gonna put any music during these. So you can just hang out, uh, you can just, you know, put it to the side if you're working on your own piece. And so, all right, let's get started guys. I'm really excited about this series. So it was funny, I was actually trying to think of what to paint today. And I came across all these pictures of Thanos from uh, Infinity War. And I, I came across the one that actually had some like interesting shapes in it. And I thought it'd be cool to do like a little kind of stylized study of it, so. Who knows, that's what these sessions are gonna be, be about. They could be just totally random or they could be something that becomes a larger piece that we work on in the future. So like all pieces, I start on a uh, kind of like a mid-tone background here. You can see if I eye drop it, it's got a little bit of color in it. It doesn't have to be. It could be just totally gray if you want, but obviously I don't start with a uh, white background. It'll really just throw everything off for me. So I pop a new layer. And then I actually use my DG main brush that you guys can uh, download, which I've gotten a lot of comments on that. You guys are really uh, enjoying that brush, which is awesome. This one, I, I pop the flow down a little bit. Uh, sometimes it can give a nice little effect, but I use this brush for like everything. I really do. And so this is kind of like this profile shot of him. Yeah, I'm so amped up for N War, it's crazy. But this is kind of like how I start blocking the face, right? And I'll do like a loose thing of where they kind of um, silhouette of the face, and then I'll kind of come in and block in where the nose, eyes are, all that stuff. You know, it may not be perfect where uh, the positioning is, but you can. Keep we can keep tweaking it, you know. Man, this character was so good, it was crazy. You know, like most people, this movie, I thought this movie was unbelievable. You know, I'm like a <laughs> year too late on doing a piece of Thanos, that's for sure. That's all right. And then I can already tell if like these little areas, if it's, that is not where I want it, I can just throw it up here or something. But usually this is how I start most of my sketches. So I hope you guys like this new format. I'm actually gonna be working on like a new kind of thumbnail for it, a new, uh, I'm gonna actually gonna record like a new little intro that's just for this series, which I think is gonna be cool. I, I wanted to get that stuff all done before we did the first one, but it seemed like it was delaying me actually starting this because it's hard for me to fit that into my schedule. And I'd rather just start getting these out because I think uh, I think these are a cool idea. I keep telling everybody I want to put more focus on the channel. And it's it's very true. Especially going forward, especially you know this year and this upcoming year, it's going to be big. It's going to be a major focus of mine. So I appreciate you guys all subscribing on these past few months. It's been super awesome. It's really what gives me hope you know it's like you know what maybe i can i can actually focus more on this this is becoming something bigger than i thought he's got one a nasto chin i always try to keep my hand as loose as possible during this stage 
think like these swooping movements are pretty nice to have in here. So like it went off like a photo, but I don't care about it too much about like matching exact proportions of little parts of it. Especially like these little helmet designs. Especially for this type of sketch, it doesn't matter too much. But I hope you guys are having a good 2019 so far. I can't believe how fast it's going. It's pretty crazy, actually. We're almost already in March. Just peppering around. I'm still trying to like move pretty quick with it. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do a character that wasn't kind of like a attractive girl too. You know, we should incorporate some more kind of monsters and creature designs and all this and I think that'll be interesting for us. Especially if you guys are looking to do concept art for in the game industry. You know, you're going to be doing lots of creatures and weird looking dudes with who knows type of gear on, right? So we should have a pretty good variety on here. You know, I usually always do or prefer doing characters over environments. That's one thing we probably won't see too much on the channel is environment work. I just, you know, a lot of people have kind of like what they specialize in or are good at. Environments, I don't know. I've, I, it, you know, it comes down to practice, right? You spend more time doing one thing, you're gonna be better at it. And I think I shied away from environments at one point. Which is weird. I thought like most concept artists were super into characters, but most concept artists that I've worked with in the past are more like environment guys. Which I always find uh, wouldn't be what I would think. Not too concerned of like he has to look exactly like the Thanos from the movie, but we'll get in. We're gonna do our own thing here. Probably goes back more. I'm just trying to draw these kind of thicker lines, just give it like a little more quick depth, you know. Let's see here. But yeah, so for future episodes, I definitely want to uh, kind of go over what you guys are talking about in chat too. So feel free to down below post any questions you have or things you want to see me tackle in the future. That'd be actually a huge help on what type of things you want to see me draw on here. You know, sometimes they'll just be loose sketches. Maybe we'll be able to dive more into paint. I really want to figure out kind of what time we want these, how, where the length we want these to be, right? I've seen, you know, other YouTubers do these, but they do them more kind of like in a time-lapse fashion. I wanted to do a more um, real-time hangout with you guys. And it's not so much a stream, but it gives me time to kind of concentrate on the piece and then go over what you guys talked about the week before. I thought that'd be pretty good. I've been like super excited to start this, so I apologize for it taking so long. But I suppose better late than never. Yeah, this is that if the type of content that you guys like to see, you want to keep for me to keep doing, definitely let me know down below. So 
I'll keep sketching this up here. This helmet was always kind of weird. Okay. We'll just make some kind of like vague shapes in the background. This is just kind of sketched, just to, you know, just to draw something. Sometimes these type of sketches are always nice to do in the morning before work, or I just have like a little bit of time to kill. I'm just sitting around waiting for something. I don't have time to really dive into anything, but I kind of just want to jam out a sketch. These kind of th these things are pretty good sometimes. I wonder how fast we could actually start jamming some color and value and stuff on this. Probably pretty quick. Let's kind of see here. One thing we could do, which I do sometimes, go to multiply layer. I'm just gonna reset my DG main brush here. And we really can just start blocking in some quick value. I almost wanna to try to keep my brush as fast as it was going before. I'm kind of knocking most of the piece down and then we'll come back and put in some some of these light shapes. You know, we're using a lot of the, some of this reference. It's just a shot from the movie as kind of a guide here, but you know, we can jam out some quick stuff. But yeah, super pumped, super pumped for Endgame. I'm probably gonna pass out in the previews. I won't be able to even handle it. You know, I've been like a huge Marvel nut my whole life, all growing up. So these, uh, all these movies have been a, uh, kind of like a dream for me. I think uh, most people kind of feel like that. Actually, like a lot of weird, subtle shadows and bounce light and stuff on this. It's pretty interesting. I think you need to like a little bit more to the eyes here. Something that's mostly missing. Let's see. Sometimes I'll actually make a second multiply layer just to knock things down a little bit more, just to kind of on top of everything else. I don't want all these highlights too crazy so far. Even at this stage, I can kind of go back in and just add some line drawing work of some of these details of the helmet. You're still making kind of drawing comparisons to other objects in here. It's kind of creating kind of a nasty tangent towards the top. What we could do is just, I think my reference really only going to here, so we could just kind of crop it in.
think I want to actually bring this up a little bit. You just take this highlighted area and brush over here. All right, so actually, this is gonna be cool because even for this first one here, which uh, I hope it wasn't working too small the whole time, but let me make it a little bit bigger. I gotta learn kind of where size is, what we're gonna need for these. So we can see that like, you know, the eyes aren't perfect and all that stuff here, but that's okay. Especially when we're just starting to do a sketch. It doesn't, doesn't really have to be. I'm just kind of getting those shapes in. But sometimes I like to do that light layer. I had a video on this at one point. I did this on a lot of paintings. I can't seem to help myself lately. Especially when I start blocking in color. I do kind of this kind of deal. It just feels like it gives the, the darkness, the shadows, like a little bit more vibrancy to it. And then let's see, I'm, I think I'm still can use a multiply layer. I don't want to use any type of overlay to put the color on yet. I think it could get too saturated too quick. So he's going to have like variation of purple and blues in his skin. So uh, real light on the brush. I'm just going to just drag it over. I can start getting like a base. I can just really I'm putting like local color down on everything. You know, maybe I can put in a little bit of these blue shapes that I, I see popping through on this picture. And then we can play with them later. And then there's a lot of this gold and brown all, all over the rest of the piece. And so this is getting it pretty dirty looking, but that's okay. That's okay. This is always a nice panicky stage for painting, right? Where you're like, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Okay. I can kind of keep adding little hits of color in other spots of it. need to do is do a good old flip here. All right. Not too bad. I've had worse when I flipped, that's for sure. So I really can eye drop this color right here. And I know I want to start adding like a little bit more vibrancy and light. So I can drag it up a little bit and just kind of brush over this area. Usually what I'm doing this stage and this type of blending is I'm also at the same time cleaning up a lot of this line drawing underneath, right? Just gonna brush this brown around. Really trying to just hit these blasts of color I'm seeing in here, just real quick. Like I said, I think for these videos, we're not gonna be doing like a totally rendered painting in a short amount of time, but I know when I see other artists paint, I love watching that first 30 minutes. And that's really was a big part of doing these, watching those first 30 minutes, I was, I'm always enthralled. I think it's just good to see that beginning process from any other artist, can it can kind of kickstart you into what you may want to do or how you may think about tackling something. So I think that's the scariest part for a lot of artists, is not knowing how you're gonna start tackling that piece or how to get it past that first little sketch. But we'll clean up all this muddiness back here too dark and muddy. Let's 
piece has like a little bit more orange and stuff back here. And you would usually want to paint out all these dark outlines and edges back here. And then you would kind of start cleaning up his face as well. Like we can really start finding some highlights. I'm just going to brush them real quick. Some of this yellow light here. It's going to be a bunch on his nose. He's got kind of a little round nose. What I want to do is bring some of that, like it's got some really nice bounce light blue happening all over this guy, which looks awesome. I'm just kind of brushing it on as many places I can here. He's getting a bunch on his helmet up here too. not too much down here but it definitely has some bounce like coming down, down into his neck but even this kind of process right here is how I would totally start fleshing out a whole piece it's really just going over it and rendering it and rendering it you know kind of zoom in more let's see here pop another layer on I wouldn't worry about my like layer management either. Like at one point, I'm just gonna collapse all the layers into one. But we can kind of start seeing how much we want to do towards here, right? So then we start figuring out the actual shape of his nose, the color that's gonna hang out underneath it, right? This is where you can really start slowly pushing all this small stuff around. You know, this is the fun part of the painting. I, when you kind of have that framework done, and then you can really start ripping into it. Like this is the good part. This is the part where you just, you lose yourself, you know? You just disappear into it. I think all artists know that kind of feeling when you super get into a piece and all you want to do is work on that piece and you are so engrossed into it because things are starting to line up, things are starting to work and it just breathes some type of crazy fire in you. It's really, I think we're probably the only people that understand what that feels like. That's why we always know that we have to draw, we have to paint. Because once you kind of experience that, like you owe, you have to experience it again. <laughs> if I can, like, <laughs> weirdly deep. <laughs> People are like, oh god, Dave's losing it. I still think there's some truth in it, though. I am, I, I am serious. You guys know what I'm talking about. So one thing, you know, sometimes I do, even with sketches at this level, sometimes I'll still even push it back a little bit. You guys have seen me do this on other areas and like, sometimes I'll grab it, I'll jam the whole thing back. Just because I'm, I love doing line drawing lately and I'm bringing a lot of the line drawing through into my final pieces. Is that sometimes like, even though we start blocking in shapes, we still have those to use. But then during this time I can just, whoops, I can really slow down. I 
find some cool ways to do some of this stuff. Like maybe we can mess the shapes a bit or This part's always awesome. I usually don't work so zoomed in, but I like to have it as large on screen for you guys as possible. Yeah, it's possible at this stage we can start to get a lot of these little wrinkles and all this stuff in. Yeah, you don't always have to have this stage on here, but sometimes I treat it as like a nice cleanup. Like I let myself relax, slow down a little bit. Like one thing I noticed, like his helmet's a little too short in this little gap right here, as opposed to his real one, but that's okay, we can live with it. Probably not gonna line drawing through this whole thing, but just kind of demonstrating a point just how I tackle this stuff. I think that's really what it comes down to. This is just this is just fun. I like this a lot already, just hanging out. So this is gonna be kind of a trial as far as the length of this goes. Like how much can we get done? Is it too long? Is it too short? Do you guys like 10 minute videos? Uh I don't even know how long we've even been recording for actually. <laughs> I have no idea. Thanos, Thanos. Let me throw uh, like just a couple. Like it's way too early, really, for any type of highlighting or anything. Well, for the sake of time, we can kind of jam just a quick couple ideas in here. Yeah, especially since this is just a little sketch session. I'll pull this back out. You know, as far as my own work goes, I definitely explore pieces as I create them. You know, I wish I had more of a set plan always, but that's something I'm always kind of working through right now. So that's a big part of this little discussion in series two is you know, just me talking about where I want to take my art this year and what we're gonna do with it. You know, goals I have things that I'm trying to work on because I think it's a good thing to see that no matter what artists you're watching or doing, they all have struggles, what they're trying to figure out. It's a lot, a lot of things. You know, we all have our, no matter what artists you see, like what level they are, they all have their self doubts and 
things they're really struggling with. And I'm definitely no different than that. So like really this metal at one point we're gonna get, it's gonna get pretty you know shiny. I think that's the uh, technical term. Yeah, so I want to use the same brush this whole time too, especially the brush that's available to you guys to use. The square chalky one, this DG main that I just use like crazy. So really the whole piece is just a lot of this and then we're really just gonna go back and clean up a ton of it, right? Especially since his face is so kind of dull and muted right now. What we'll probably do is just grab an overlay layer. And this is how I kind of start building like a little bit of saturation into the piece. So he's gonna get like a little more purple, especially in spots. And I'll do this like real slow, just kind of drag it over small areas real lightly because you can get oversaturated real quick with overlay. You know, it's the same way when you're trying to pepper in kind of like red tones in the cheeks and the nose. You kind of bounce that around. That is a weird little Thanos sketch. <laughs> but all right, I think, yeah, for like next week, we'll definitely like pre-plan some like more ideas out, whatever you guys post. Um, we'll get some cool stuff going, get some cool discussions going as well too. You know, things you guys just want to hear me talk about and just not asking just in a comment section. Right, we could tackle a lot of things on here. So kind of one thing too, is we pushed the whole thing down before is that um, sometimes you go back and really push those, uh, those shadow shapes back in there. Start getting that contrast back, you know. That's the thing about the talent too. I'm just curious how much work can actually paint without time lapsing in this amount of time. Hopefully a lot. I don't paint as fast as I used to. I'm definitely slower than I used to be. Which is weird. I always think you would paint faster the longer you did it, but I feel like I'm slowing down. I'm trying to take my time more with like figuring out shape and design and all that type of stuff. Just get like a little, it always adds, you know, just enough life to the eyes. Poor Thanos. He's such a, he's such a sad boy. Well, you know, some type of sketch. You know, I didn't want to like prep one up where it's like the line drawing's already there and it's kind of exactly what I want. I like that idea that we're starting a sketch and I have no idea what it's gonna be or look like. And it could look really bad. <laughs> you know, seeing those first marks on the paper, like I was talking about before, you see an artist make are 
it's really important to me when I see another artist do it. And so I need to just get over that fear that I could paint something that's not very good. Because it happens. I think that's the thing for everyone to see also. You see a lot of your favorite artists out there posting really beautiful stuff on Instagram. You think they only put out pure magic every time and that's usually not the case. They have a lot of struggling pieces, but they just put out their best and their favorites. Sometimes there's a lot of crumpled up pieces of paper during all that, you know? You know, there'd be like a lot of rendering as far as all the like little bumps and grooves in this dude's chin. Cause he, they're pretty severe. Like they're not like subtle little creases. That's somewhere pretty large actually. We would kind of have to smooth out and render them all kind of individually. I keep thinking I'm about to wrap this up and then I keep drawing. <laughs> all right, we probably will because I'm afraid of it being too long. I don't know what YouTube does when your videos are too long. Maybe nothing, I'm not sure actually. We're gonna find out. All right guys. I think that'll probably do it for our first episode. I mean, I hope this is something that you guys uh, enjoyed and like to watch. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, you know, just for us to hang out and talk and just do a little sketch together. You know, even if it's not perfect, you know, there's definitely some uh, problems with Dance's face. I don't think his eyes are exactly correct. They can be spaced and look a little bit different to really get his vibe. But as far as like, just a, it's like it's just a sketch goes, you know. But we can tackle a whole bunch of different things you guys want. I'm really trying to get these out. I'm trying to do this as a weekly thing. Just Sunday night, I'm just going to sit down and record and go over your guys' previous week's comments. And uh, that'd be awesome, guys. And seriously, put comments down below. Give this a like. If I see you guys really loving this type of stuff, it's just going to make me put out more and more content. It's really, really awesome. All right, guys. I will see you next week. And this will not stop other content for me to put on the channel. I still want to get some tutorials. I'll still put some time lapses up on the channel, but I wanted something that was more regular for you guys to check out. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you next week.